My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment presents The Vampires of Whitechapel The Blood Reaper Chronicles Chapter 1 The Royal Pain Blood Reaper Chronicles Number 1 I'm Contello, leader of the UK Blood Reaper clan. Honestly, I never imagined I would be saying that. We escaped the attack by Jack and Alistair and their stupid vamp wolves. Well, I should say some of us did. Our leadership, myself, Lydia Grosvenor, Ariana Grayson, who was a bit banged up but somehow got out and has recovered. We all made it. Yet, we were the lucky ones. We were decimated by the vamp wolves. We had so many losses. Elliot, silly little fucker who wouldn't turn, not that it would have helped him any on that night. Sebastian, sniveling little weasel that he was. We had some good times together, though. I think I'll miss him. We left England, and now our base of operations is the Grosvenor Paris facility underneath an abandoned church. What the fuck is it with these Groveners and churches? We like tradition. Oh, hey, just starting the Chronicle. Chronicle? Yeah, it's kind of like a field report. I think it's important we keep record of what we do here, you know, for history's sake. Indeed, makes perfect sense. What can I do for you? I was going through some of Elliot's notes and I was shocked to discover that he had identified one of the members of the royal family as a vampire. Which royal family? The British one. No shit! Who is it? Names in the portfolio. <gasps> you serious? Yes. Holy shit! My thoughts as well. So, how do we do this? Well, it's going to be extremely difficult. They always have security around them. It would also need to be out in the open. Do, do we know if there's any normal hunting grounds? Yes. Elliot says it's around Westminster Abbey to the tower. On the river. Wait. 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 How is this even possible? We'd notice if a royal has lived longer than their normal life terms, wouldn't we? Unless this particular one is a fledgling. True. Damn. Do we know if- No, we don't know if she has fed yet. Perhaps we should recruit her as a blood reaper? I don't know. I don't see her running around the city killing vampires or slumming it here with us. But we can't just kill her, can we? If she's a blood-sucking vampire- I don't like it. Too high profile. It could really expose us. The alternative is to leave her to her own devices. To allow a monster on the streets just because of her status. Ah, damn it. You're right. We can't do that. Your orders? Get Grayson. Work together on the best plan of attack. I assume she goes out alone to hunt. Probably. Which means we'll need to take her at night. Much more dangerous for us. Wouldn't be the first time. No, it wouldn't. Make it happen. Yes, Mum. Larissa Cantello, signing off. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Blood Reaper Chronicles. The part of Larissa Cantello was played by Rita Della Torre. Lydia Grosvenor was played by Karen Hemdall. This episode was written, produced, and directed by J.C. Delatore. 
Music for this episode was created by JC Delatore and Atlantis Paradox. You can find out the latest news and developments regarding this audio drama at vampiresofwhitechapel.transmissionsfromatlantis.com and our Facebook page. Be sure to follow the Vamps on Twitter at Ariana Grayson, at Alistair the Vamp, and at Jack the Ripper WC. But be warned, if you at them, they just may at you back. Join the discussion on the Vampires of Whitechapel Discord channel, hosted by Cast Junkie. This has been a production of the Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment Network. Until next time, keep the lights on and don't walk down any dark streets. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen. The demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D I G I T A L V A U D E V I L L E.com. Mm-hmm.